Hello everyone, I'm Stu from Modular Robotics and this is Create with Cubelets, a tutorial series to help you imagine, make, teach, and create more with Cubelets Robot Blocks. Greetings creators, welcome to episode 4 of Create with Cubelets. In this video we'll explore how you can change cubelet behaviors using personality swap. To follow along you'll need the battery, Bluetooth hat, distance and drive cubelets. You'll also need the cubelets app. If you need to get the app you can grab it on modrobotics.com slash cubelets slash apps. So let's get started by building a robot like the one you see here. This robot uses the battery, Bluetooth hat, distance and drive cubelets. Before we go any further, here's a quick pro tip. When building robots where you plan on using personality swap, it's a good idea to set your robots on their side or back so the drive wheels don't accidentally send your robot racing over the edge of the table like some kind of fancy lemming. After powering on your robot construction and placing it on its side, pair it with the app. Then you should find yourself on the main block map screen. From here, we are going to select the personality swap button, then pick the cubelet whose behavior we want to change. In this tutorial, we're going to swap the drive cubelet personality, so I just tap to select. If you haven't disabled the instructions already, or this is your first time opening personality swap, you'll see this instruction screen. It has a lot of helpful info, so I'd encourage you to read through it but you can toggle whether or not the screen continues to show up using these buttons. When you're ready, tap continue. When you get to the main personality swap screen, you'll see the block you selected on the left and a list of possible personalities you can swap to. For this example, we'll select the two-way drive cubelet personality. Tap to select the personality, then tap confirm. Personality swap is the easiest way to start to experiment with the power of coding and computational thinking. But while we wait for this personality to go through, let's discuss what a personality actually is. Robots are made of two general elements, hardware and software. Hardware is all the physical stuff, the plastic shell, the magnets, the motor, the circuit boards inside. Software is the code stored in the memory of the robot that guides how the robot responds. If you recall our definition of a robot from the first video, a robot is a machine that can sense, think, and act. All cubelets are actually robots too, because every cubelet can also sense, think, and act. They can sense what other cubelets are telling them, think about how to process that information, and act based on that information. When we swap a personality, we are actually changing the way cubelets think, or how they process information. By changing the way a cubelet processes information, we can change the way it interacts with other cubelets, which will change the behavior of the entire robot construction. But back to the task at hand. Once our cubelet has finished its personality swap, you'll see a confirmation that it succeeded. You'll also notice that in this case the wheels are spinning rapidly. This is why it's a good idea to set robots on their side or back when using personality swap. Tap to return to the main block map. You'll see a little personality swap icon next to the cubelet. This is an easy way to tell if your cubelet is running anything other than the default personality. Another way to detect personality swaps is to count the number of blinks the LEDs on your cubelets perform when they are powered on. Default cubelets blink three times. Personality swapped cubelets blink four times. Now that we've finished our personality swap, let's take a moment to explore how our robot behavior has changed. Notice how my robot is automatically moving forward, but then if I place my hand over the distance, it begins to slow and eventually starts moving backwards. This is pretty cool, but it is also different than what we've always seen from a drive cubelet. So what's happening here? To explore that, we'll directly control the drive cubelet using remote control. Tap the remote control button, select the drive cubelet, and tap to continue. With our robot still on its side, let's see how moving the control slider affects the behavior of the robot. Notice how as the values approach 127, the wheels slow and then switch directions. This is because values below 127 go forward, 
while values above 127 go in reverse. Using the two-way drive personality is just one small step towards the start of a powerful new way to create with cubelets. Keep exploring personality swaps to discover even more amazing and new ways you can make cubelets interact. But before we go, I've got one more thing you should know. A personality is persistent. Every time you perform a personality swap, the cubelet will keep its new personality until it is changed to something new or back to the default. This is great because it allows you to tweak and iterate on your robot designs, but it's important to know how to return a cubelet back to its normal default behavior. So let's put our drive cubelet back to its default behavior. Now there are actually three different ways you can do this, and you can find all three by entering personality swap. The first is found on the block selection screen. It's subtle, but it's a good way to reset multiple personality swapped cubelets in a single robot construction. It's the reset all button. But we only have one in this construction, so we're going to continue to the personality swap main screen. And from here, you'll notice a reset default button below the image of the cubelet, and also a default personality at the top of the list of available personalities. Any one of these three options will work. So just select one and tap to confirm. This starts the reset process, and that concludes this episode. Have fun exploring personality swaps and look out for the next video to create even more with cubelets.